Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel where we learn to be a better programmer. And in this video, we're going to talk about the different levels of software engineering. Okay, but before we get started, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on future videos where we talk about how to be a better programmer and also how to uh, excel in your software engineering career. Okay, so, okay, so what is what is, what is the level structure usually at a tech company, say like Twitter or like Facebook or Google or Intel or, you know, any of these companies. So usually it comes like, comes like this. So like there's a entry level software engineer, there's uh, a, an experienced engineer, there's a senior software engineer, there's like a, uh, like they call it a staff level software engineer across some of these companies, then there's senior staff, and then there's like some, ambiguous, really high title past like senior staff, right? So what does that translate to in terms of knowledge, in terms of your responsibilities and those sorts of things, right? So um, while this varies from company to company, it's important to know that like, it's pretty standard in terms of like the first three or four levels, okay? So as a Entry level software engineer, you're fresh out of school or you're maybe fresh out of a master's program where you haven't had any work experience before. Um, and you aren't really expected to know a whole lot, right? You've never worked in a, you've never worked before, presumably other than an internship. So you don't really know how to, what, what the day to day looks like. Um, your tasks are maybe little small tasks like fixing a bug or like implementing a really, really small feature. Um, and you're very much coding like, 90 to 95 percent of the year day um you have your projects don't really reach cross teams so you're really siloed in your own little uh work stream uh so your scope is very very limited uh as a entry-level engineer as it should be because they're giving you an opportunity to grow and learn new things um in a safe and controlled sort of environment okay so the next level as, a, as an experienced engineer what that looks like is you're you're able to, you, you've worked for maybe one, two, three years. Um, you know, like the ins and outs of working on your team, what it, you know, what it looks like to work at your company and be effective there. Um, you have put in, uh, you've written code that's um, increased in complexity over time. You've maybe contributed to one or two projects um, that are external to your team. Um, and so what that looks like is your scope continues to grow uh, in, in the level two uh, software engineer, right? So then what does senior software engineer look like? Um, so senior software engineer is you are completely uh, expected to um, operate on your, on your own within a team, right? So you determine you know, the tasks that need to get done, you, your code reviews are so clean, you're super clean code reviews, you review other people's code, giving great feedback, you um, implement features in uh, a very short amount of time, you de write design docs, you do all kinds of stuff like that. Um, you may be seen as a, as a technical leader on your team, so you know the whole system of your, that you're building or that you have built uh, or that your team is responsible for um, and stuff like that. So that's kind of what senior level works with. And you're more, what your job as a senior software engineer to do uh, as, a, uh, as a senior software engineer is to um, ensure that your team uh, is operating really well um, and you give technical direction, but you're also um, collaborating cross team very frequently, right? So you're working with you know, other teams, maybe your library or your product is getting integrated in another team's product and you're walking them through how to onboard uh, your product into theirs or, uh, and, and so on. So there's stuff like that. Um, and then staff level software engineer uh, means that coding um, is, is definitely still a part of your job, but your job is really to provide technical direction. Uh, the scope of your projects lasts from one to two years. Um, not necessarily like quarter to quarter, like maybe uh, seniors or like senior software engineer. Um, so you're more about strategic planning from a technical point of view. So you're driving technical initiatives within your work stream or within your within your business unit. Um, and so so that means you're taking pass downs from the top level soft, senior staff software engineer or something and 
determining. So, so say the senior software engineer says, okay, we need to implement this because it uh, aligns with our company's objectives. And it kind of falls on you to go and like implement that or uh, design, a, design a, a, a system that will implement that vision or something like that, okay? Um, so senior staff software engineer is really the person that like, say as an example, I've never worked at Google, but like say you're the individual who came up with the idea for Google Play, right? So say you're the engineer responsible for, who was responsible for designing and developing Google Play when it was first getting started, right? So as time has gone on, you've slowly, own, you've owned that project for like the past say 10 years. You're the senior staff engineer that basically knows the system in and out, like you um, know exactly what needs to be done to fix things, to, you know, all that kind of stuff, right? So when you, uh, as a senior staff, like software engineer, you have like maybe a hundred engineers that are more junior to you, uh, that you are uh, sort of quote unquote responsible for. Um, usually ICs in, in some companies are like working in a flat structure. What that means is like, so, you know, if I'm a, if I'm a, you know, senior software engineer, I can run like own a project and then have a senior staff be a contributor on that project. Right. So like the fluidity of being the leader is, is it's not like set in stone. Right. So you don't, once you're like a senior staff software engineer, you don't have to like lead every project. You could be uh, a part of a project that is led by a more junior software engineer. So that's what we mean by flat. But, um, so, but the senior staff software engineer has the scope to understand like, oh, there's a project like way on the other side of the company that is doing something like this. If we try to implement it in this project, it will make things go a lot faster, right? So they have that scope, that knowledge external to the team, external to uh, your business unit or your working group, right? Um, so then above the senior staff software engineer is like, you know, maybe it's a VP of engineering or a distinguished engineer or a um, uh, principal engineer or something like that. And these people sort of like, I, I, I gotta be honest, I don't really know what these people do. Um, I, I think, you know, there's the CTO who like basically says, here's our technical direction. Like, this is kind of what we want to implement company wide. And then they kind of go on and like, you know, take that information and internalize it and say, okay, what, it, how can we translate that into objectives that we can pass down to all of our, uh, work streams and our business units. Um, and then it falls on the senior staffs or the people with like, the scope to understand, you know, the whole system, all the systems, uh, how to implement that within their particular system. Okay. So I hope that was really helpful or at least a little helpful on like, you know, what the leveling structure sort of looks like and, you know, what you're responsible for as, as you continue to level up. Um, and, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If, uh, you like the video, please feel free to like and subscribe and also turn on post notifications. Um, because we're going to, I'm going to keep posting more videos like this. Um, so yeah, thanks so much and uh, have a good one. Bye.